Holy smokes! Ladies and gents, there is a new FTK. No, it is not the volcanic FTK that I showcased you guys earlier before. It is something even better. Ladies and gents, my favorite deck in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel right now is, of course, Snakes. What happens when you combine Snakes with a brand new archetype that came out of the brand new selection pack? Blazing Arena? A tremendous fire for all our opponents in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. In today's video, we're gonna hop into Master Duel Ranked to send all our opponents to the shadow with Axel's Brody's Elio deck. Let's begin. Ladies and gents, why do I call this deck illegal? Well, let me tell you. What happens when you combine Snake Eyes with Volcanics? One problem, another problem, one hot fire, one hot fire. You mash it all up, tier negative zero. This card is a one card FTK. This is why this combo is illegal, because it's one card equals first turn kill. Once the guy Ash gets you access to, of course, Emperor somehow gets you access to, of course, Kuranai somehow gets you access to a mission, gets you access to Inari, you know what I'm saying? So it just gets you access to everything. All you need to do with this deck is open up one Snake Eye Ash and you have FTK. Or if you don't feel like it, if you don't feel like playing the FTK and you feel like being nice to your opponent, you can just play regular Snake Eyes. Ladies and gents, this deck does it all. FTKs, it plays like Snake Eyes. It's probably one of the best decks in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. If piloted by the correct person like myself. And with original, you're going to bring out, of course, Volcanic Rimfire. Because it's level 1 fire, conveniently. You know what I'm saying? When it's sent to the graveyard, you basically get to dump, of course, a trooper. And guess what revives back trooper? Well, Promethean Princess. So you revive back trooper, search, of course, Volcanic Emperor. And then you combo off to FTK your opponent. You proceed to FTK your opponent. And I cannot wait to showcase you guys the one card combo that will first turn kill your opponent to the Shadow Realm. Before we begin with this video, this video is powered by Supreme Pro. Be sure to visit TX1.com today. Link in the description box below and get your playmats and sleeve bundles right now. You guys see this playmat? One of the most beautiful playmats I ever released. And there's a bundle where you guys can buy, of course, the playmat plus a 10 pack bundle sleeves. And while using the discount code PAC10 or Potato10, you guys can get $50 on your order plus free shipping to the u.s like it's insane value guys and as you guys see on the website everything is almost sold out so again from the bottom of my heart thank you so much for supporting supreme pro and by the way april the 12th ladies and gents 8 p.m est the 25th anniversary unity deck box is dropping at tx1.com so ladies and gents save the date right here right now only limited amount of these are going to be available so be sure save the date april 12th 8 p.m est at tx1.com ladies and gentlemen don't waste any more of your time let's get started with the one card first turn kill let's begin all right ladies and gents welcome to the brand new this is illegal axel brody's volcanic snake eye deck why is snake eye volcanics so powerful well i explained you guys in a profile uh snake eye ash does everything that any three card combo deck wishes and dreams of so if you're able to throw snake eye ash in your deck to enable your ftk more consistently i recommend any deck go ahead and do so when you combine a problematic ftk which is volcanics with one of the best decks in the entire world which is snake eye you have problem squared you know what i'm saying so without further ado you guys will see that by the end of this combo we'll still have four cards in our hand and snake eye ash needs to get banned oh that, that rhymes god damn so of course ash is gonna search the populace he just vibes activate populace summon itself out Activate Populous right here, which is amazing. We are going to search the original. Yes, sir. And now we're going to link this away into Link Rebo. Yes, sir. Link Rebo. Absolutely insane. And then we're going to use, of course, Populous Effect right here. Put itself in the spawn trap zone. Yes. Now we're going to use these two, of course, uh, to link it off into Flamberg Dragon. Yes, sir. Yes. And now what's going to happen next is very simple. We're going to utilize Flamberg's ability to place Populous or Snake Eye Ash in the Spawn Trap Zone. And now we get to use the original right here. Okay, original sack off the Snake Eye Ash right here into summoning a Volcanic Rimfire. Now using Rimfire and Flamberg Dragon, we are going to make IP Mascarena right here. Very important. This combo is very straightforward, you guys. 
follow these exact same steps and you have the exact same combo lines right and obviously every combo line is a bit different uh if you open up with like die bell star brimfire that's still full combo one snake eye ash is the true one card ftk but there's so many different variations of the ftk that you can draw you go to a trooper die bell star popular die bell star like you know what i'm saying like die bell star with rim die bell star with emperor so many different variations of uh, of 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 cards in your in your opening hand if you don't open up with just snake eye ash for you to still produce an ftk and if you open up with like ash and die bell star you basically can play around the biru as well which is absolutely ridiculous right especially for a variation that you're not focused on playing pure snake eyes especially for a version where you're incorporating volcanics you can play around nib with opening up with ash and die bell which is absolutely insane uh, with the FTK as well, which is which, which is ridiculous, right? So we're gonna go chaining one uh, Flamberg and also chaining two Rimfire. We're gonna send uh, Trooper to the grave right here. We'll send Trooper to the graveyard right here, which is really important. Send troops right here, really nice. And of course, Flamberg will buy back these two guys from the grave. Absolutely amazing. Now using these two right here, we're gonna make IP Mascarena. No, I'm just kidding. We're gonna make Promethean Princess here. Make princess and princess is gonna revive is gonna revive back the trooper by the way which is important of course we go princess right here revive back the trooper that we just dumped to the graveyard Let's revive back trooper okay and then trooper will trigger trigger off its ability right here to basically add volcanic emperor directly from the neck to the hand now we can use trooper's ability just in case if they have like emperor or something you know we can just you know discard the pyro emperor the emperor to put a token in this middle zone make sure it's exactly in this middle zone or this far right zone right here okay but for this instance i'm going to use the middle zone okay now what we're going to do next is that we're going to use these two right here into our emblem whale okay summon the whale all right now what's going to happen next is that you are going to make relinquish anima right here make anima okay anima is insane okay and now, this triggering off our Inari in the deck. So, triggers off our Inari. Tribute this, tribute this. Summon Inari fire directly from the deck. Activate Inari to target, of course, the bomb token here. Your opponent will not lose 1,000 damage. Now, using these two cards right here, we're going to make Geonator Transverser. It's actually so stupid, yeah. Geonator Transverser, yeah. Big Transverser right here. All right. And now, what's going to happen next is that you use Inari to search Kurenai. Uh, which is ridiculous. Alright, we <laughs> search Kuro Knight. And then we just summon the uh the Volcanic Emperor by banishing three pyros in the uh three pyros in the grave. Uh we just of course banish one, two, keep the Sigai Ash in there, three. Summon of course Volcanic Emperor in Transversal Zone, okay? Make sure it's important. Okay. Now we're gonna use Emperor's effect to deal 2,000 damage to your opponent. This putting your opponent at 5k. And then we also get to set the emission directly from the deck, uh, which is insane. And now we use Geonator Transverser to switch sides. You know, we switch sides. You know what I'm saying? Switch sides. And then we make, we use Link Creepo to trib off, tribute off the bomb token. Yep. Summon Link Creepo. We use 500 because we special summon. Not using these two, we're going to make our second Promethean Princess. All right. All right. And this right now is the FTK. So how is the FTK? Well, let me show you. We reset the Kuranai, and then we end our turn. Now, what happens is that on your opponent's draw phase, you draw for turn, you activate, of course, Volcanic Emission. This card says target one power monster on the field. On the field, if you target yourself, you your opponent loses half the damage. But if you target your opponent, your opponent takes the full damage. So we're going to, of course, target a power monster on the field, which is going to be this. Okay? Your opponent loses 3,100 because of uh, Ember's attack is 31. Now your opponent's at 19. You use Kuranai, tribute a fire monster, and your opponent will lose damage to that fire monster's attack. This is off just one Snake Eye Ash. Ladies and gents, this is off one Snake Eye Ash. If you go first, combo gets uninterrupted. You literally end on the FTK like this. The FTK is scary, guys. Let's hop into Master Duel Rank and send all our opponents to the Shadow Realm. All right, ladies and gents, here we go. Axel Brody's FTK. Okay, don't don't know this this hand is, is FTK. No no this hand is should be FTK. This hand should be FTK. Alright guys, we just normal summon Rimfire. Alright. And then we go and then we go snake and, and then we go this, right? And we go this. He's a chain maxi, we're gonna chain ash and it's game. 
All right, this. Stay guy Ash is all you need, guys. Maxi, and then we and then we chain. Yeah, and then we chain Ash. Yeah, we all we all, we 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 always got it. We always got it. We always got it, ladies and gents. Here we go. Here we go. Ash is now negated. Now we of course bring out uh, of course Snake Eye Ash. You know what I'm saying? And then Rimfire triggers. Chain Link One Ash. Uh, chain Link Two Rimfire. Uh, banish this card from the grave. You know what I'm saying? And then we just continue on combling off this way. You know what I'm saying? Here we go. So Rimfire banish. Of course, we're gonna send the trooper to the grave, and now we're gonna use Ash to bring out Populous. Uh, of course, search Populous, activate Populous, get field spell. Yes, sir. Get field. Uh, yes. Now we're gonna use Populous effect. Search Divine Temple here. Yes, sir. All right. Now we're gonna activate Divine Temple here. A Divine Temple is gonna place. Yeah. Then we use these two here. This guy, a Flamberg Dragon, a Flam. All right, ladies and gents. And then we use these two. Yes, sir. And now we just play around the mirror here. So insane. Chain link one to Flamberg, and then chain link two Poplar. So Poplar is gonna target Flamberg. Here we go. All right, guys. So now we're playing around everything. All right, boom. And then this is going to summon these two. Yes, sir. One, two. All right, guys. Freestyling here. And then we're going to use this to summon back. Not Rimfire, but Populous. All right. Do not summon back Rimfire. We, we need the extra 2k damage. Okay. Here we go. Now we just make Promethean here. Promethean here. Yes. Promethean Princess. And then Princess Revive Back Trooper. Because already seen this. Activate this. Revive Back Trooper. Yes, sir. And now activate this effect. Uh, of course, add the Emperor. And now we use this. You know what I'm saying? Discard the Emperor. You guys know the vibes. Summon a bomb token here. Make sure you summon a token. Bomb has been planted. All right. And now we use these two men to make Amblo Will. Make Amblo Will here. Yes. And then we make, of course, the anima here. Yes. Anima right here. Okay. And now we use these two. Some Inari Fire here. And then Inari will trigger off its effect to target this. Burn Araki. And then we use these two to summon Geonator Transverser. Summon Geo. And now we're still like protected by the mirror, which is insane. All right, make sure this zone is, uh, matters. I'll be summoning, of course, Volcanic Emperor. Uh, banish one, two, three. Three mans here. Okay. Summon Emperor into this zone. It's really important. <laughs> now, Emperor will use the effect to deal two racks. And then you're going to set, of course, the emission here. Okay. You're going to use Geonator Transversor to switch sides. Uh, obviously, this is a one-card combo. Uh... You know what I'm saying? It's 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 uh, it's it's it's, it's a one-card combo, uh, but in this instance right here, we play around the mirrors because if we don't have the full the full combo and they nibble us, we still get access to Divine Temple, bring out Flamberg, Flamberg put IP in the spawn trap. You know what I'm saying? So it's still something. You get what I'm saying? So it's it's not that bad. All right, Lin Karibo. Yes, and I want to make Promethean Princess right here. All right, so. Princess here. We still have like a bunch of interruptions, which is really, really good. So Promethean. Yeah, we, we did the damage. Then we end our turn, bro. So on draw phase, this card says, uh, try one power monster on your opponent's field. Because if you target the monster you control, the damage is half. Try one power on the field. I'm going to target this. Of course. I'm going to chain Kurenai. The tribute Promethean. And that's the FTK. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Super simple. One thing I ask does this. One thing I ask. Axel Brody. Volcanics is illegal. Let's get it. Ladies and gents, going first is FTK every single time. But what does this deck do while going second? Well, let me tell you. It, it kills as well. You know what I'm saying? 
So unless there's 10 negates on the board, um, yeah, we're, yeah, we're not losing this hand. Honestly, we might lose this hand because, you know what I'm saying? Like, this hand is not that great. We only have one play, which is Black Witch. So Black Witch pitch wanted, hopefully resolves. And then we get Stig Ash. Up. Populous, please. Why does life gotta be so hard? You know what I'm saying? Why does life gotta be so hard? It's gonna add all the dive all stars from my deck to my hand. I'm gonna prove to you guys that, you know, never give up, you know? We'll draw Populous. We'll draw Populous. We, we, we're good. We're good. Populous for its spiel spell. Run that over. I, I, I think we're nice. I'm actually down. Yeah, I'm just gonna get this. Mission 2. I'm just gonna add it to my hand and then just discard it. So, so card destruction becomes insane. You know what I'm saying? And also, if I can draw, uh, you know, Imperm, we just draw this and then we resolve card destruction. Now I draw five cards. I draw six cards. I draw six, right? I draw six. Why oh, do I draw six? Yeah, you see? Now that's now now, now that's insane. Now I use Rimfire here. Uh, this said trooper. I think we're good here. Yep. Yep. Yep, that's fine. Yep. This maxi ultimate slayer lightning storm. Okay. Okay, I think this is fine. Trooper is nice. Uh, we can go with this. This land break here. I think popular here is, 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 is a bit better. Yeah. Add original. Ultimate Slayer Lightning Storm. So we go battle phase. Punch the Dino here. Okay. Set this. And just end my turn here. Next turn, like, we just pop off. That's, that's a fossil down for sure. It's fine. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. All right, now we vibes. Just vibes. All right. Yeah, I think that. Yeah, he he's he's not he's not winning, bro. You you're you're, you're, you're trash. Please, please. All right, ladies and gents, here we go. We're gonna go second once again. All right, you know we got Ash Blossom, Diabell Star, Flamberg, Bonfire. Uh, this hand is absolutely ridiculous. So. Mm. Fenrir is so annoying, bro. Fenrir is like so cancer. All right, it's fine. You can just go die, bell star, pitch, and just attack. Enter battle phase. You know what I'm saying? Just the standards, you know? Just formalities, you know what I'm saying? Like, one for one is insane. Like, this hand is actually ridiculous. So we can just, like, let's start off with this, to be honest. Send flam. Do not use die, bell star. We're not using die, bell. We're just going to enter battle phase. So I'm warning, bro. He's warning, bro. Okay. Attack into Fenrir. Punishment? God damn, bro. Alright. Okay. Ah, uh, guys, Fender is annoying, bro. I'm not gonna cap you guys. Fender is crazy. Uh, battle phase. Let's go with this. Send Rimfire. Okay, let's let's try to break this board. You know, we know we know it's an imperm for sure. All right, we just we just try our best. Judgment. Holy shit! All right. Let me use this effect, okay. Yeah, one bonfire beats Fenrir. This on Trooper. We go bonbons. We have an Ash, bro. You're just insane. Oh. Okay. The normal Ash. Normal Ash beats literally Fenrir. Like, he cannot beat this. <laughs> no way! How can I catch a break? 
What is this? Guys, I believe, I believe. We just hold Imper, draw Imper. That is actually insanity, bro. I have never seen anything like this. I've never seen anything like this in my life. Oh my god, bro. I've never seen anything like this in my life. Judgment? Your judgment in this. But your ass, bro. Your your ass, bro. You're you're lucky I didn't go first. You're so lucky I made you go first, bro. You're so freaking lucky, bro. You're shit. Uh. All right, ladies and gents. First, we got floodgated by the statues and fossil right now, and now we got floodgated by skill drain. And all we need is wanted, and of course, rimfire. It's game. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. That's good. That's good. Manadiums or what? Manadiums? Manadiums or what? Razin. Okay, let me max this now. Yo, let me max this now, still. So. This egg is actually good. Kosh Tira! Kosh Tira! Kosh Tira! Alright. This, this is gonna be a good game, guys. Yes, let me draw. Let me draw, yeah. Please. Yeah, Kosh Tira. We just need to stop raising, you know? Let me just... Let me ash this, so... You hold the imperm for that, you know what I'm saying? Ashing Raisin is actually the correct play. Ash, always Ash the Raisin, guys. So, Rise Art 3 Unknown. Probably three other hand traps. Kind of annoying. Yeah, make Rock. Yeah. Okay, pretty much to the hands. And then, of course, Raisin. Raisin. Raisin Brand back, okay. Alright, bet. Raisin, Rise, 3 Unknown still. You have to estimate that these are kind of like Imperms. Maybe Burger. Oh, nothing. So, just a bunch of hand traps, I think. Okay, call by the grave is actually insane. Maxi, I think we call by this. Yeah. Fives here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go this and thing. Like that we wanted. And now we just FTK him, okay? We just, we just FTK him. Yeah. Give me this. Okay. And now we just need to just deal with one Fenrir. Set this. It's fine. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's probably, he's probably gonna... Yeah, so I check him here. I do this. Ross is insane. Henry is so annoying, guys. I'm in this. I'm not doing anything. here so i add this so now I, ch I, ch I check him on the fenrir now wow what the heck all right i send flamberg here i'm confused he's not he's not doing anything he has to chain fenrir banishes right now yeah he has to banish it yeah it's fine that's why Snake Eye, that thing is just so good. Because I just bring these two back, right? Right? And this is perfect because I may just make... I just make Barricade here. Right? I make Barricade here. Discard this. Then chilling two Populous here. Put this here. Rimfire Effect. Banish this card. Send Trooper. Then these two. Bring out Promethean. 
Does he have Nib? I feel like he has Nib, maybe. I still don't think that we have the FTK line because there's just too many interruptions. Like, we, we need an extra body on the board. This. Activate this. Send this. Summon a bomb token. Summon this. Okay. Activate this. There you go. Yeah, that Fenrir was tough, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. It's just, it's just, it's just too much. It's too much. I don't think I can, I can, I can, I can do it. I needed to go battle phase so I can end the rock. I think the best way that we can win, honestly, if he, is he special? Yeah, 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 yeah. He has to go Fenrir battle phase first. Yeah. Really? Okay. Sure. Okay. Why would he do that? I don't know, but cool. Beats me. So each time he loses 5 okay, guys, guys, you might win. Jiao Long. So each time he summons a monster, he look, uh, you know what I'm saying? He loses 500. Okay. Sure. Okay. Interesting. His wise heart in hand. Yeah. Lose 500, guys. What kind of emperor is insane? Let's do this now. Do that. There's two fires, right? Yeah. This, this, yeah. That's fine. That's fine, yeah. Reviving, guys. Reviving, reviving. Yeah, he's gonna add one, yeah. Caesar! Okay, Promethean. He's nice. 500 free summon. This is so far has been a really great duel. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So this is 1700, guys. He has to go 17 and we can pop this and it's game. All right, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Kurunai is insane. Okay. I think, I, I, I think I'm going to do that. This, this, we might actually win. We have to bring this guy's life to as low as possible, bro. All right. As low as possible. And we're Gucci. That's literally it. Okay, so bounce summons out, yeah. Caesar. Oh. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, he has everything. Sure. Oh my god, guys, we actually might win. Oh my god, we actually might win, guys. <laughs> Holy smokes, this guy's ass! Go oh, mission. A reason? I had game. Destroy all the cards. Oh my god, I should have summoned in here. I'm ass. Oh my god, I misplayed, guys. God damn. My god. Oh, bro, if I just tributed this, he would lose 18. I used to just tribute this. GG. I had game, guys. You guys see it, right? So, like, I, I didn't know Raisin did that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm so shit. Oh my god. So, you guys saw the play, right? I can just use this. Oh, I'm so bad. So bad. So bad, bro. Oh, shit. I'm so bad, guys. Really bad. I definitely misplay there. Definitely a lot, a lot of misplay on my end, too. This duel, this duel was a great duel, man. Almost won that. I, I, I think it was great. Uh, do I have any, do, do I even have three pyros in the grave? I don't I don't I don't even have three pyros in the grave. This whole thing could have been avoided if I just summoned into this rock zone, man. Burger. I'm just ass. 
and toggle off. This whole thing could have been avoided, guys. But yeah, this was the deck, man. Honestly, it just, just, uh, just, uh, I just misplayed. There you go. Nothing else. No excuses there, lady and gents. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just need two other pyros in grave. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Am I win? Why can't I summon Hopeless? Okay. I can't play this into the column. Guys, I, I still might win. I still I I still might have a chance to win. Wait, why can I just uh, like why why couldn't I do that in in, 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 in the first place? I'm confused. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. The flam break here. Oh my god. Volcanic Emperor for game? Oh my god! How many pyros do I banish? Effect? Oh my god. Caesar? Sure. Already resolved, bro. Already resolved. I have like... I have like seven, six banish, right? Oh! Never give up. What a great game!